We are working in, in, in the broad field of quantum information science, um, exploring the possibilities of generating um, quantum entanglement using light. Um, light is very interesting because we can um, have multiple systems, multiple parties that are the modes of light, uh, and uh, we can generate um, entanglement so that we can manipulate um, information in general, we can encode information in, in the quantum properties of light, we can transmit that information, we can use it for communications, uh, and hopefully we can also use it for quantum information processing. Um, the system of choice in our lab is called the Optical Parametric Oscillator. It's uh, based on a nonlinear optical process in which um, one converts light from one wavelength to uh, to other wavelengths. So, for instance, uh, a photon of a certain wavelength gets split into a pair of photons at um, longer wavelengths, meaning lower energy. And based on this individual process, there are very strong correlations between the downconverted photons. Strong uh, correlations in their intensities, meaning that the number of photons in, in two different beams that are generated are very strongly correlated and their phases, phases are also tied to each other. Um, we've been investigating this system for over, over 10 years, almost 15 years now, and um, we've learned a lot investigating this system. In the beginning, we wanted to just show that the twin beams that were generated were, quantum, were entangled quantum mechanically, but we found out that actually the seed beam, the pump beam for the process, was also entangled to the twins. Uh, it took us a number of years to experimentally demonstrate that. Um, once we got there, we actually had further surprises. We investigated in more detail the detection process, found out that actually for each beam, we had to deal with at least two modes owing to the, to the, um, to the detection process in which we look at spectral properties and noise so fluctuations of light can be interpreted as a modulation. If you modulate light at a certain frequency, it generates sidebands, summing the original frequency with the modulation frequency. We use that every day for communications. Um, so we had to deal with at least two of these sideband modes per beam. And uh, last year we showed that actually the three beam entanglement that we had was the entanglement of six modes. And um, we're exploring the possibilities of this higher dimensional s um, space in order to improve the encoding of information and actually to extend this to even higher numbers of modes so that we can um, think of a platform for quantum information processing. Um, we've investigated this system in different physical platforms. So the more traditional platform, which is based on bulk nonlinear crystals, but also in atomic systems, atomic vapor. So just um, a vapor contained in a, in a vacuum chamber, we can manipulate it with light and we can use the nonlinear interaction of light with, with the atoms directly uh, to also generate the optical parametric oscillator process. Finally, we've been also extending this to um, platforms on chip, so um, structures that are designed and fabricated on silicon chips, which are compatible with the electronics industry. And that's very, very interesting because we can then use um, these properties to communicate light to uh, not only think of communicating over long distance, but actually communicating over ultra short distances. So if we consider, for instance, a quantum processor, um, somehow the elements on this processor will be distributed on a surface, um, which can be a, a chip. And if we have light uh, with entanglement with these quantum correlations, we can actually use that to shuttle information between different parts of that processor. Actually, we are entering a quantum information era in which um, most of the applications that we now have are going to see a boost in efficiency owing to these very subtle properties of nature that are described by quantum mechanics.